Okay, so today the video is going to be about my little solar tracker here. This is kind of a scaled down version of something I plan on doing in the future for power to a greenhouse. So I figured I'd miniaturize it and kind of get all the bugs worked out of the system as it is here, and then just upsize it from here on out. So um, we're gonna jump into the build and then we will come back here and we'll kind of talk about it. Okay, so now before I talk about this, a little word from today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a premier provider of custom prototype services, offering businesses, startups, and entrepreneurs a comprehensive range of solutions, including CNC, 3D printing, and flexible or rigid PCB manufacturing to bring their innovative ideas to life. And as a special offer for first-time users, you can enjoy an exclusive $5 discount on your initial order meaning you're getting single or dual layer PCBs measuring up to 100 millimeters by 100 millimeters with a quantity of 10 starting from a remarkable price of zero dollars. You'll only pay shipping and handling. Visit PCBWay.com today to get started. Now back to the build. Um, now that we've kind of seen this get put together, I kind of wanted to just talk about some of the d design choices that I made on this. First up is the actual light sensors. So these are just photoresistor sensors that um, when light comes in, they send an analog value down to a controller that can be manipulated and used to see how much light is given. And then the design of this T-shape allows me to gather light from either this direction, this direction, or this direction. So by gathering the light, from those three directions, and then with a little bit of averaging across the sensors, I can actually tell this which way to move. So average left and right versus just the top value will give me my vertical, um, which way I need to move. And then if I average the left plus the top and the right plus the top, that will give me the, um, the horizontal way in which this needs to move. Um, I ended up going with smaller limit switches too, as the small stepper that I'm using didn't have enough to kick the normal size limit switches that I had on here. 
And then the two servo motors, I did this so that way it was more of a stable setup. I tried it with one stepper or with one um, servo and it seemed to like stick and bind because all the torque was coming from one side. And so this just gives me a nice even torque across the entire solar panel. And then I went with a stepper motor for the um, horizontal movement as that allows me to change gear ratios for when I scale this up. Um, I can then change the gear ratios, gear ratios to produce whatever torque is needed to move this horizontally. And since the sun doesn't move across the sky at high rates of speed, it's fine if it's a slow moving object with a bunch of gear reduction. It just, it'll save on power consumption from large motors. It'll allow me to keep the cost down on this by not having to buy super large stepper motors and super large servos to move large pieces of um, solar panel and metal and aluminum. So all of this was kind of built with the future plan of upgrading this and making this larger. So um, as far as the circuit board goes, this was a circuit board that PCBWay got for me. Um, awesome turnaround time on this. Uh, highly recommend if you're in a hurry to get something um, like a project done or something, PCB Way is the place to be. I put this in on a Thursday, and the following Friday it was on my doorstep ready for me to put together. So, yeah, super, super, super awesome quality, super awesome lead time on all this. Um, so, yeah, highly recommend that. But it's a pretty simple, just, I guess, um, shield you would call it for a regular Arduino Uno, and it just clips on an Arduino Uno that's attached under here, as you've seen. So uh, it's a pretty simple setup, though the circuitry is not super hard. It's just a, a driver for the stepper, um, all my connectors for the limit switches and the light sensors. This is just an auxiliary power, so that way I can connect to like a battery pack or something that this can charge. Um, so yeah. That's kind of the whole setup here. It's not a super complicated um, project, not a super complicated task. So, but yeah, um, we're gonna go to a video of me kind of having this thing chase a flashlight around. I'll just kind of speed it up. It'll be like a little short 15, 20 second clip. And then, yeah, that'll kind of be it for the video. Um, the reason I'm doing a flashlight chase is because uh, when I work on this videos, the sun isn't out, and unfortunately I don't have the time to set this up outside, and I don't have a camera I can leave out there to like time-lapse it following the sun around. So the best thing I can do is change the delay in the code, and then have it chase a flashlight around. So uh, yeah, we'll jump to that flashlight chasing clip, and then we'll come back here and I'll kind of talk about the future of how I'm going to start doing some videos. So. Okay, so moving on from this video forward, every video after this, the format of my videos is going to change a little bit. Um, based on what I've seen from the YouTube analytics, it seems a lot of the subscribers and the viewers of my videos, they're not as interested in like the lengthy like talks and the lengthy like in depth of this. And I know that some viewers are, so I want to leave these in the video. But I want to organize these videos in a way that everybody that comes here for just the project, a quick synopsis of what's going on, and then the finished product working, they can get that, and it'll just be within the first couple minutes of the video. And then for the viewers that are wanting the in-depth um, technical discussions and the how this is working and the why I did this, I'm going to move that towards the end of the video. So moving forward, the video is going to kind of look like short intro, followed by a shortened up build process. And then it'll be kind of a, the project is working, here's what it does. And then I'll kind of have just a short, short, like this is kind of why I did this. And then there'll be technical stuff after that. I'll do all the like why I did it and all that. 
on a lengthier talk after the fact, and then we'll have the normal traditional conclusion at the end of any closing things I need to say or any announcements for the channel or anything like that. So moving forward, that is the plan for future videos. Um, I am working on another speaker, and I have a subwoofer in the works too, so be on the lookout for that. It's it's going to be a pretty cool little setup once I get it all figured out. So yeah, um, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, it helps the channel grow. And again, um, check out PCB Way for any projects that you're working on. They're awesome, um, super friendly, very helpful. Uh, super super fast turnaround on the stuff and zero quality issues at all like i haven't had an issue with the past seven or eight projects that i've got from them um everything's been top of the line to my door as quick as possible so yeah definitely check them out have a good one guys